We are used to restoring vintage tools when they come in. You're not supposed to have to restore a brand new goddamn plane that you've just paid, what, a few hundred? What does the retail on these big ones? That is a 225 pound plane. Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to something. Uh, look, I've been told that there's something interesting in here, and hey, it's already open, why have I got the man? <laughs> if my mind is telling me the truth of what I just saw just doing that, there's an I and a B. Okay, come on then. Uh, I don't think I like this. We're constantly playing with uh, guitar building tools. We're constantly looking at different, um, uh, different suppliers and different things. And for the longest time, I wanted and have wanted to make uh, tiny little guitar building planes. But in the short term, we've got some of these Ibex planes. And that's what I saw, the IB on that. Uh, the hell is this? This is a thicknessing jig of some sort, is it? There's sandpaper in between two jaws. You've got an Allen key there. Is this for thicknessing binding? With sandpaper? See, I, uh, a splint former tool. I think that we could make a far simpler, far less pricey version of this at some point. If you've got a, if you've got a split in a, in, a, um, in a spruce top and you just route a square channel and put some wood in, it doesn't work as well. It's not as tight. You want to have a slight angle and you want to have a slight angled splint. So you'll use a, a knife blade uh, to, to create that beveled edge all the way down. I mean, that's beautiful and uh, well made. Maybe we'll just put that on the side as is. Perfling cutters. I've had one of these tools for the longest time. Uh, I'm not happy with the quality of this handle. Uh, personally, look, I know you need to make money, but uh, we've got sanding scratches coarse sanding scratches on the brass. If this was a crimson tool, we'd have that either polished or very, very matte. And uh, I've got, as, if, as first impressions go, that, that is not great. I think we would need to do a little bit of rework. And then it comes in a plastic bag with a loose Allen key in there. Now, these Ibex planes are based on a Norris uh, or Preston, I think Preston also did them, design and shape. So having this uh, uh, little knurled wheel here uh, that uh, pushes down that way rather than a, just a, a nut. It's just a sexy little design. I can't remember the brand on these. These came through VintageToolShop.com and they're okay. But you've got a sort of a, a cheap wedge and in order to set this tool up you need to well put it on a flat surface, put the blade in, then put the wedge in. You tap the wedge in, that pushes the blade out hopefully enough. But if it's loose you need to constantly tap. This one is far different. You can just sit there, set your blade, set your depth, lock it off, and you've got. Now, what I'm not happy with is the size of that mouth. You can see a gap, and the blade is just protruding. I've got a gap that is about a millimeter. This one, while being a more problematic, well, let's put it on that way, the shot is nice, uh, a more difficult, more traditional design, we've got a much finer mouth, which means that you will be able to, with the, with the alternatives, get a better quality cut. Now, I say better quality cut, what I'm actually saying is, uh, it depends on what you're after. 
If you want to remove a lot of material, having a wide open mouth and essentially using this as a scrub plane, is that is absolutely fine. It takes big shavings, it removes a lot of material fast. And I suppose that's exactly what you want from the Ibex. Because these are carving tools, they are not fine finishing tools. Okay, I take it back, I was wrong. Uh, this is the 36 mil long, and you can see the you can see the mouth there again is quite quite chunky. Uh, I'm happy to say that these have been tumbled. They're beautiful and lovely. Well, I say they've been tumbled. Most of the plane is absolutely spot on. The knurled wheel does not match. So we've got a beautiful brass plane. Uh, and everything is fantastic and beautiful apart from the uh, well, the knurling, which is not. Stop shipping your tools with a loose <coughs> Allen key in the fing packet with a beautifully polished brass fing tool. That's fing <coughs> stupid. <coughs> Nurse, I need coffee. Uh, okay, no, I, I went from v pure excitement to actually being really rather disappointed. I've got all sorts of scratches. I've got the edge of my blade with a giant mouth, by the way. And this is, this is designed for uh, hogging away wood on chillers. So I, look, the mouth is fine. Uh, ish. Well, no, it's the opposite of fine. It's not fine. I don't like that shape on the edge, but I've got polishing compound. I've got polishing compound everywhere. So these black marks are polishing compound. I've got a beautiful polished or what was a beautiful polished um, brass surface that's now been damaged and scratched and scraped because of a hardened steel Allen key in the packet, which is just stupid. And then again, we've got a, uh, uh, a non-matching uh, knurled wheel there. Uh, I, I refuse to sell anything that is not absolutely perfect. So unfortunately, we're going to have to take all of these out of their packets and double check what's happening with these and fix them. But uh, <sighs> curiously disappointing, Ibex hand planes in stock at crimsonguitars.com. Now, uh, you will have a better unboxing experience than we will. Being able to put out a video with the title saying, come on so-and-so, you really screwed the pooch here, uh, is great from the point of view of views and clicks and, and all of that sort of stuff. It's not really clickbaity in this case because, hey, it's true. I've been unable financially to purchase these for myself and I've wanted them for the longest time. And here I am getting them and thinking I could do better. So I could do better because I'm not an, a fool <sighs> and I wouldn't pack a loose Allen key in a, in a packet with a brass tool. Let me know what you would do. Um, thank you for watching. I'm going to go and cry in a corner at this point because I am, I am sad if our fine tool makers are putting out things like this. That, that's cool. I mean, it arrived loose in the box. Uh, it fell out of its uh, protective wrapping, but it's very nice. Uh, this was going to be a beautiful review of the tools, of the way they, uh, of the way they work, etc. These are cast. Uh, there's not that much um, material inside, which is cool. There you go. Uh, I'm going to assume that the blades are lovely. Hell, that blade's got a lasered on serial number. You don't get that in the old uh, Prestons and, and Norris's. Um, it's, it's a nicely made thing. I, I, I wish they had polished the uh, knurled wheels in the same way. Uh, that, would, uh, that, would be, that would be ideal. Okay, well that one doesn't come with an Allen key. <laughs> that one doesn't come with an Allen key and yet the sole is still scratched. Uh, 
but at least I haven't got a chipped blade. So I'm interested in, I don't like those. I know it's supposed to be there to give you something to grip onto, but uh, I, I think that that's just pointless. Um, it's actually too far forward. Given the length of the blade here, it's too far forward. You're not, the, that's digging the blade into your hand. Uh, you want to be a little bit further back. That could do with a, this shape, this style plane is not supposed to be that big. If you want a plane that is for that sort of work, you want to be, it needs to be comfortable. Uh, so a little squirrel tail plane, this is designed for, and I've got small hands, this, the squirrel tail sits in there. And this is a Miller's Falls, I think this one. Yeah, this is Miller's Falls, Stanley made them as well. Uh, that fits perfectly in my palm and my finger fits perfectly on the button that the finger is supposed to go onto. Uh, that just works. Same thing with the Lee Nielsen. It's, it's low. Uh, yeah, this is Lee Nielsen. I've also got Quangsheng versions or etc. The cap iron fits in the palm of my hand. My finger automatically goes where it's supposed to be. And I've got a plane that just works. I kind of want the smaller Lee Nielsen one as well. This, that's too long. This is currently uncomfortable. But just out of interest's sake, there we go, uh, US patent. So they've gone and patented a design made by Norris and Preston, etc. 150 or so years ago, which is interesting. Uh, I suppose what they have, maybe what they've patented here is this uh, mechanism, the thing that necessitates the uh, Allen key. I'd say that's the uh, I'd say that's the patented or patentable uh, thing. This is allowing me to have a a nice fine throat, throat, mouth, foot and mouth, people. There we go. Okay, so actually I can turn this one into a far finer tool. This could either be for um, for proper smoothing, etc., or for hogging out if you remove the material uh, and do that. I, I love tools. Some people say that I build guitars only because it's an excuse to use fine tools all the time. And there is an order of truth in that. I don't want these. I don't want the two bigger ones. I'm not, I'm just not interested. I am going to keep a set of the small Ibex ones, the small Ibex ones, the small violin makers ones. And the ones that I've been using for the, for the uh, last 20 years of my career are in my home workshop. So I, I do need a good set for here. But I, I'm not interested in these, I'm sorry. And I genuinely was excited. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, hit me up if you use them and love them. Hit me up if you know of alternatives. There are, there are inexpensive alternatives or relatively inexpensive alternatives uh, made in China that uh, uh, could maybe these days be better. Who knows? Uh, yeah, click like, share, comment. This is depressing. This is genuinely depressing to me. Damn it. Uh, yeah, there you go. If I've got a 225 quid plane that I then need to go and fix, yeah. fix and polish, yeah. the edge of the blade. Yeah, the edge of the blade is dinged. I, Why would they ship it with that? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. What's that crap on the side? That's polishing compound again. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry, this is, this is like, you got polishing compound all on the inside of that. This is not good enough. Mm. This is Monday. This is Monday for you. You get something that's supposed to set your week up, which is what Tom said. And I am here actually. <sighs> I'm gonna take Pippin for a walk. Look at this. It's uh, not even 11 o'clock in the morning. I need to uh, go and clear my head, uh, taking the dog for a walk. 